Is it time to stop hating on Bigode quality and safety? Well, let me tell you a bit more about this. So if you know my channel, you know that I was the forerunner usually when something happened with Bigode wheels. I had several cutouts on various Bigode wheels and I needed new parts, bearings would break, etc, etc. But now things changed a little bit. So what I wanted to do in this short video is to show you all of the wheels that I currently have here and maybe some additions and tell you about all of the issues I had during all of their um, mileage. So let's start with the veteran links. Uh, this doesn't have too much mileage on it, just 700 kilometers. Didn't have any issues with it yet, but this is also not such a high mileage wheel. Now the pattern and veteran is, you know, people think it's synonymous with quality, but this pattern is one of the worst wheels when it comes to um, faults that I had like, I think ever. So the first thing that broke was the uh, motherboard. I was braking super hard and because this wheel was charging to such a high level, I just fried the board. Now you could say it's also my fault, but then again, other wheels have a voltage limit, like for example, the Bigode Extreme, where you can't charge it to such a high voltage, so you won't break the wheel. Now there were patches added to that, but still this happened. The second problem is that the suspension is very clunky. So where I just ride around, it makes those click, 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 click sounds. I believe actually the something in the housing or the mudguard is clunking against the shell. And this is pretty annoying. One of the very little charger issues I had with wheels, well, the charger for the veteran pattern broke. Uh, I mean, the fan broke, but I'll need to fix it. There was also a problem with the BMS. So there was a loose BMS connection cable, which caused the wheel to be unrideable. So I had to send it for repair. They fixed the BMS and then sent it back. I also couldn't check uh, what's going on because it doesn't have a smart BMS. So it was just telling me that one of the battery packs is disconnected. And it still let me ride with the setup. And just recently I found out after 2,200 kilometers, the bearings broke and they make a horrible sound. So the bearings are, are done here. Moving on to the Sherman S, this one has 1,400 kilometers on the clock. Now, I didn't have any issues with this wheel yet. No bearing problems, no suspension problems, not, nothing like with the pattern. But I did get a Sherman S before for testing, and on that one, the battery pack broke as well. There was a dead cell, we tried to fix it, we tried to, you know, charge it up, but in the end, I just sent it back and uh, didn't use this initial veteran Sherman S I got for testing and then bought my own one. Now on the Kingstong S19, I don't have many problems, but I also don't use it as hard as the other wheels in terms of jumps and crazy stuff. So nothing is broken on this wheel. Um, sometimes it wouldn't turn on by the first press of a button and it has like weird stuff when it comes to charging. Uh, like sometimes it wouldn't charge and then I just replug it in and plug it in and it works, but no sort of major hiccups or issues. With the S22 Pro I had though before, all of the bolts on the, on the back like most of them were gone. I broke them during jumps. So that was that. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. Now, before we get to the Bigode Extreme, here's my veteran Sherman Max. I have 6,000 kilometers. Oh, by the way, there was 700 kilometers or 800 on the S19. 6,000 kilometers on the veteran Sherman Max. And some issues were more like cosmetic, like the roll cage just dings up all the way. I had to buy a new one because I'm trying to sell it. And uh, there were also broken bearings on this one. The rim is bent in many places, which is kind of annoying. You know, the veteran Sherman Max rim quality wasn't the best. Maybe with the newest batches it is, but not here. But apart from those small things, no sort of major hiccups. So before we get into the Bigode Extreme, I wanted to tell you about all the safety measures that are on those wheels. Starting with the links, it has a smart BMS, battery temperature sensors, no motor temperature sensor, um, motherboard temperature sensor uh, and a smart BMS, but it charges to a too high voltage. The limit on the cells when it comes to the top charge is too high in my opinion. The veteran pattern, temperature sensor in the battery, temperature sensor in the uh, motherboard, no temperature sensor in the motor and no smart BMS. The battery also still charges to a too high voltage, but now with all the veteran wheels, there is a loud beep once you go over the safe battery voltage threshold. The veteran Sherman S, similar story to the pattern, but there is also no battery temperature sensor. Uh, so this is just like a bit more of a basic pattern prior generation thing. So also no smart BMS, no motor temperature sensor, 
uh, and I believe no battery temperature sensor and just a motherboard temperature sensor. Now the Kingsong S19 has the most of all of those wheels because it has a motor temperature sensor, smart BMS, uh, but the battery is not shrink wrapped. So in this regard, this is the worst waterproof um, sort of wheel or water resistant wheel. Uh, but it also has uh, a smart BMS, fuses, all of those wheels have fuses. So minus the water resistance of the wheel or especially the battery pack, this is sort of the safest things from them all. Also battery temperature sensors. When it comes to the Sherman Max, that has the least amount of stuff from all of those wheels. It's the same basically like the Sherman S. So no smart BMS, no uh, battery temperature sensor, no motor temperature sensor, motherboard temperature sensor, shrink wrap battery, and uh, you know, cold charge board. All of those wheels have uh, cold charge ports and are pretty safe in that regard. But it will tell you if the one battery would uh, you know, have a totally different voltage than the other. And this is also what is available on all other wheels. So with all of that said, you know that I have trouble with, uh, with wheels. I ride them hard, I test them properly, I check for all of their features. So how does it look like with the Bigode Extreme? And surprisingly enough, the Bigode Extreme is the wheel that I had the least problems with from all of those wheels. And now keep in mind, this is just a small batch of wheels. You know, it's, it doesn't re represent the whole market. The manufacturers of those wheels want to send me their best product. So this is also something to keep in mind. So with the uh, Bigode Extreme, it has a smart BMS, it has fuses, it has a motherboard temperature sensor, you know, good waterproofing with the battery uh, shrink wrapped as well. It doesn't have a motor temperature sensor, which is a bummer, but also battery temperature sensor. And the biggest difference to the veteran wheels, it charges to a lower voltage. So this is great because I'm not afraid to actually break the wheel when I'm braking. It won't overcharge it. And in general, to the top of the battery voltage and the, to the bottom of the battery voltage, it's, uh, it's a safer setup than what the veteran uses. And I believe also that the power draw is more limited, which is safer as well. When it comes to mechanical stuff, I don't have issues with the bearings, although I did ride it in uh, rain and I have uh, 1,600 kilometers, 1,500, but I didn't ride it in salt, which I did with those wheels. So this, this might be why the bearings broke on the pattern, but uh, nevertheless, I did ride this thing in rain and no issues uh, with the bearings so far. The suspension works, but it makes some squeaks, but this will be fixed with just a, um, some sort of grease for the suspension geometry mechanism. I had no issues with the battery, no issues with the controller. Everything works. Uh, it's very simple to use. It's very simple to change stuff out. I like the charge board a bit more than the smaller charge boards on the, for example, veteran pattern. So in general, so surprisingly enough, from all of those wheels, um, the Goat Extreme has some of the best safety, minus the motor temperature sensor, which the King Song has, and one of the best durability, because I didn't have any issues with bearings, the suspension still works. I mean, it's a little bit clunky, it's noisy, I need to, you know, put some love into it, but it still works. It has a smart BMS, it has safe battery voltage limits, so whilst back in the day, I would hate on Bigode because they were just doing terrible products. Just in this case, and what I am using with the Bigode Extreme and how I'm using it, and I still do plenty of jumps with it, I really do some of the craziest stuff on this wheel. Um, well, I'm surprised. So maybe it's time to stop hating on Bigode. I don't know. Let me, let me know about your experience.